Hey there friends and welcome to a special edition of our video series, our little interview series. Today we're in the Grand Canyon. We're on day four of a great river trip here with Western River Expeditions. And I thought it'd be fun to spend a minute talking with our, our lead boatman, RD, a little bit about his experience in the canyon, uh, why he comes here year after year, and just get his perspective on the Grand Canyon. So let's go ahead and join RD. <clears throat> so RD, maybe tell us a little bit about how you got started just boating in the Grand Canyon, just that origin story and, and why you come here. All right, yeah. Uh, got started boating just growing up with family, you know, growing up in Idaho. We do rafting trips with uh, the family as kids, starting on the Snake River. Then we did some stuff down in the desert on the Green River. And uh, once I graduated, I figured it was a good way to, you know, put myself through college and just fell in love with it and have kept doing it ever since then. So were you working towards like the Grand Canyon or was that just an opportunity that came to you or? It was more just kind of an opportunity that came to me. You know, I never thought that this would be, you know, my lifelong journey. But uh, as I kept going and ended up in the Grand Canyon after a few seasons working up in Moab, um, just fell in love and, and haven't been able to leave. You know, the canyon has a way of drawing you back. I actually have tried to go do other things and then I end up right back here every time, so. So what do you think, is, what, what's a, what it is about the Grand Canyon that keeps pulling you in? Is, do you think it's the, the experiences with the people? Is it more the place? What, what for you personally is like the big draw? I think it's a combination of both, you know, the place, it's the Grand Canyon. It's obviously an amazing, beautiful area. And then, you know, for us, it does get like a job. You know, we're down here sometimes 12 times a year for days on end. And uh, for us, what makes the trip sometimes is getting to see it through everybody's eyes that we're taking down for their first time, right? So that's kind of what makes it what makes the job fun for us sometimes is uh, getting to share it with everybody and, and watch them explore the places and see the rocks and the formations and all the little things we get to do and of course go through the rapids for the first time and it's a place where you know adults can come down and kind of revert to being a kid again because it's just a, a big playground down here. So it sounds like you enjoy watching other people have that first experience maybe not having the, the the tethers of our daily kind of social lives where we're kind of like being trying to be professional people can just kind of get stripped down to who they are as a person is that pretty accurate right exactly yeah you kind of see it progress on the trip right the first day everybody's a little hesitant kind of quiet and then you know by t day two everybody starts coming out of their shells and then especially on rapid day it's just everybody's all in having a good time for the most part enjoying themselves you know doing things they wouldn't do in in a normal life and a big draw to it too is being able to get away from those tethers of normal life and you know ditch the cell phones and the computers and all that stuff for a good you know five six seven days so yeah that's amazing yeah. so what maybe can can you think back to maybe one of your most memorable experiences like for you personally like in the Grand Canyon something that like really left like a, a lasting mark on you uh well, that's a hard or, one or one of many I'm sure you've had many but maybe <laughs> maybe give us one it could be something that was like scary or just a super awesome moment that you had you know I've, I've shared a lot of just memorable moments with people and the crew down here. And some of the most memorable moments are when we're saying goodbye to our six day passengers and you know, people are coming up to you and hugging you and telling you, you know, this was life changing and they start crying and you know, it's tears are shed and it's just a good moment because you know, they would have never probably thought they would have done this in their life and it was maybe a once in a lifetime opportunity and hopefully from then on they, they keep exploring and doing, you know, uh, adventures like the Grand Canyon and, and things like that. So Yeah, I mean, that's got to feel awesome to know that you played a part in like, you know, making a memorable and transformative experience, not just, you know, the place, but you personally and, and what you were able to do with the trip. Yeah, yeah, it is awesome. Fulfilling uh, experience when you when you get that part of the job, you feel very fulfilled and yeah, it's exciting. Awesome. Well, hey, thanks so much for sharing a little You're bit welcome. with us and we appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. All right. <laughs> All right, so next we're gonna hear from another part of our river guiding crew. This is going to be Janelle, 
who's the other guide on our trip. So let's go ahead and meet Janelle. Hi, Janelle. Thanks for taking time with us today. Yeah, of course. Happy to be here. Yeah, so maybe just start by talking to us a little bit about um, how you got into guiding in the Grand Canyon and maybe guiding in general. Yeah, so I got into guiding right out of high school. Uh, my older sister kind of got involved in the river community in Moab, uh, and I was around 16 or 17, and I went on a few day trips with her, and I just saw, like, how cool it was and, like, got to see, like, the community, and I got to see my sister be, like, really strong. And I just, like, from that point on, knew I wanted to be a guide. Somehow I knew I wanted to get involved. And I talked to my sister, and she told me to apply for Western. She told me it was a company she wished she had applied for, and yeah. she... Yeah, pointed me in the right direction, and for a long time I really just thought it was going to be a little college job to like, I don't know, pay for semester to semester, but yeah, I ended up turning it into a career, and I can't wait to be here. So you had no river experience coming in, but they trained you and kind of showed you the ropes. What were some of like the things you learned maybe that first year about your job and being a guy? Yeah, I learned everything, and I feel like I learned a lot about myself along with like the training. I mean, they put me through like a month of really solid training. Uh, down in Moab. It was like back-to-back -back river trips. I did my swift water rescue technician training and at the time I did my wilderness first aid and then I've now updated to like my wilderness first responder. Um, but I feel like the thing I learned most was like being comfortable in uncomfortable situations. Mm -hmm. Like being out in nature is uncomfortable to some level. I mean like the sand, the wind, the rain, you know what I mean? Like just like embracing that like like finding, let me rephrase that. I think there's, I don't know who the YouTuber is, but they're like saying is like seeking discomfort right. and like looking out, like being excited for that discomfort. You know what I mean? Yeah, situations that help you grow it. that are like yeah. kind of hard and uncomfortable. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Uh-huh. So when did you start guiding in the Grand Canyon and was that like a goal mm -hmm. of yours? Is this, is this like the, the pinnacle of like what guides try to aspire for? Or? Yeah, so I'd say for about 90% of my life up until like recently, I didn't know that there was a river at the bottom of the Grand Canyon, <laughs> if I'm being honest. I think I figured out that there was a river at the bottom of the Grand Canyon pretty quickly after I started guiding in Moab and people were talking about this place and the way that they talked about it, they like talked about it in like kind of hushed tones and it made, it seemed so mystical and magical. So I kind of piqued my interest early on. Uh, and then I got sent down here for a trip my second season in Moab uh, to fill in for a guide that got injured and it ended up being like the best thing ever. I immediately sent an email to the manager down here and I was like, I need to be down here. This place is everything that everybody says it is. Like this is the ultimate guiding experience. It's the ultimate passenger experience like I just have to be in the Grand Canyon and they were like all right bump the brakes you're like 19 right. <laughs> and so they had me work another few years in Moab and so then had to pay your dues it sounds had like. to pay my dues yeah. had to put in the hard work and I'm glad that I did because I made lifelong friends and learned a lot more about the river and a lot more about myself and then yeah this February I got the offer to come down and I was so excited to see it in my inbox and yeah awesome. now I'm here this is your first season in the canyon First season in the Grand Canyon. Amazing. So mm -hmm. what do you think it is about this place or maybe river trips in general that like resonates with people that like, like what, what do you think it is about this type of experience that makes a difference to people? Good question. I think for me, I can't speak for everybody, but the river is a form of escape. You know, for everybody. Everybody's looking to escape on vacation, on our phones. Like, at the end of the day, we want to disconnect. We want to relax. Like, it's human nature. And I feel like I'm able to provide that experience for people, which I really enjoy being able to, like, put your phone away, put things down, not check your emails. So, like, I think that's what draws a lot of people out here. But also, I mean, just the unreal natural landscape. I mean, we've talked a lot of geology this trip, and I've learned a ton. And, I mean, you just look around, and it is like postcard, 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 right. like it is just unreal. So I think that's what draws a lot of people to the river, but I think it's just like, I mean, it has everything you could want on a vacation, I yeah. guess. Yeah. So mm -hmm. what about, um, like maybe, can you think of a, the most memorable experience you've had on a river trip? Could be in the Grand Canyon, could be another one, but have you had any sort of experiences that were like really formative and like things that really stuck with you? And There's been a few, but my favorite, that I get more often than not is when I'm proven wrong by people. That's my absolute favorite is like, I really try not to make assumptions about people when I first meet them. I try and not judge. I try and like keep an open mind, but like 
we're all human and we all make assumptions about people. And sometimes I judge the people that are coming on these river right. trips. And I love when they prove me wrong. And more often than not, I am proven wrong and I am humbled by people. Right. Uh -huh. So that I think is like my favorite thing that happens on the river mm -hmm. most often. And I'm trying to think of a specific experience for you. Um, yeah, it could be a scary experience or, or something that like yeah. um, really just stuck with you for whatever reason. Um, let me think what I've got for you. Um, I'd say my first time trip leading a trip in Moab. Uh, I was on the Green River, Desolation Canyon. It was my first trip lead and it was a three boat trip which is like just already difficult. You only had three guides working and both of the guides that I was assigned, it was my first ever trip lead and the first the guides I was assigned, it was their first time in the canyon since training. They hadn't been oh, wow. on a multi-day trip since training. Yeah. And I was like, all right, here we go. And yeah, no, I was buckling in for a hard week. I kind of went into it with a slightly negative attitude of just like, this is gonna be hard, this is gonna suck. like but we're gonna get through it. And I was, yeah, I was proven wrong by those guides. They worked their like asses off. They worked yeah. so hard. And it was just a really, it was a really lovely trip to just, it was very empowering. And just also so, I felt so supported also. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. By these two 18 year old boys who had no idea what the hell they were doing. <laughs> yeah. So I'd say that was a really memorable trip. And right. our passengers were phenomenal on that trip. It was just, there were hardships, there were struggles. Boats got stuck on rocks, people got injured, people got sick, but it was just like, it was such a magical experience. Yeah. For sure. Like, yeah. Sometimes through it all. adversity like that is like a great teacher. And yeah. you, know, you look back and you're like, yeah. No, and it showed me that I could do it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, which I liked, so. Well, it's amazing. Well, it seems like yeah. you've really, like, found a great niche, mm -hmm. like, in this community and, and with this profession and what, what you're doing and you're, yeah. you're growing every year. And so mm -hmm. I think that's awesome. So wish Thank you the you. best and thanks for taking a minute and take, thanks for being our, our guide on this trip. Yeah.